Here at the MRC Laboratory of Molecular Biology, one of the world's leading research institutes, scientists are working to advance understanding of biological processes at the molecular level. One of the key areas of research is in the field of structural biology. My name is Laurie Passmore. I'm a scientist here. I'm originally from Canada, but I started my group at LMB in 2009. One of the key areas that we work in in the lab is the field of structural biology. We want to determine the functions and interactions of biologically important molecules, especially proteins, the molecular machines of the cell. Our aim is to decipher the structures of these proteins. By understanding what they look like, we can learn a lot about how they work at the molecular level. For many years, the preferred technique to determine protein structure was protein X-ray crystallography, which was developed at the LMB in the 1950s. But not all protein structures can be determined this way. The development of cryo-electron microscopy has made it possible to determine the structure of many more proteins in unprecedented detail and has revolutionized the field. Cryo-electron microscopy starts with the preparation of a pure sample of protein in water. The sample is then frozen in liquid ethane so rapidly that ice crystals cannot form and the protein molecules are held in their natural shape in a very thin sheet of ice. Electrons are fired at the sample and detected by a camera to produce an image. The molecules in the sample are in different orientations. Application of a computer program sorts the images and groups all those protein molecules that are in the same orientation. Thousands of images are required for each sample. Further software is used to piece the images together to produce a high resolution 3D structure of the protein. This is gamma secretase, a protein important in Alzheimer's disease. The structure of gamma secretase was determined by scientists at the LMB using cryo-electron microscopy. Being able to visualize a protein at this level of detail allows us to better understand how the protein functions. It opens up the possibility to design drugs that precisely fit proteins and offers an exciting opportunity to treat diseases. I'm Richard Henderson. I came to the LMB in 1966 as a PhD student to work on the X-ray structure of protein molecules. Then, after two or three years as a postdoc in the US, I came back as a young group leader in 1973. The goal of our work in that period was to determine the structure of membrane proteins. We tried to make 3D crystals so we could use X-ray crystallography and that was very difficult but because it was already in the form of a 2D crystal, it was suitable for electron microscopy. My scientific career has revolved around the development of electron cryomicroscopy. During the 1990s and the 2000s, a number of technical developments worked together to improve the resolution and the power of the methodology. And these were that the Electron microscopes themselves got better, higher voltage, better vacuums, more stable stages. Uh, the detectors were improved and we were involved in a number of detector developments at that point. And the power of the computers themselves and the nature of the computer programs worked together. So these three developments allowed CryoEM then to become gradually uh, a, a method with higher and higher resolution until we've reached the stage where we are now, where you can get a high resolution structure of almost anything using cryo-EM without making crystals and without using extra crystallography. So my name is Sjoz Geres. I started my scientific career in the Netherlands and I joined LMB in 2010. My work focuses on the development of methods to calculate three-dimensional structures of protein complexes from electron microscopy images and for that we've written a, a program package which is called RelyOn. RelyOn takes many thousands of very noisy images from the electron microscope, which contain two-dimensional projections of these molecules in many different orientations, and combines them into a three-dimensional reconstruction of the protein molecule. So RelyOn has been very useful to scientists in the field because it uses a mathematical framework that means that you don't rely so much on user expertise 
to solve these structures. And as a result, many more people have solved many more different protein structures. The development of cryo-electron microscopy has taken decades and the LMB has been at the forefront of this work. The LMB currently has nine electron microscopes, the largest of which are worth more than four million pounds each and can produce several terabytes of data every day. Development of cryo-electron microscopy is an excellent example of the LMB's pivotal involvement in technology development, which is now being utilised by scientists here and across the world to provide the knowledge needed to solve key problems in human health.